I think it's been widely understood that people were utilizing antibody testing to determine when you can go back to work. That's not really the goal of why we conduct this comprehensive form of testing. Our first and foremost goal is to identify those who have actually been exposed to this virus or who had coronavirus at some point in the last 30 days. If we can capture those individuals, then that we can identify their risk of who they were in contact with, and that helps us control the spread of different diseases. Right now, the only way to know that you are safe to go back to work is by a comprehensive snapshot of both PCR testing and antibody testing. You need a comprehensive assessment specific to this particular coronavirus over a 30-day period if you really want to know what your disease exposure has been. We do not want to look at just individual components of testing. We want to get a comprehensive snapshot to give people the best options for next steps towards treatment. So very basically, if you are negative to PCR tests, negative to IgM antibody, and negative to IgG antibody, it means that in the last 90 days, you have not had any exposure to coronavirus that has been in your immune system long enough to produce an actual immunological response. So you're essentially testing completely negative. That is a very good thing. You do not want to necessarily have this virus exposure, and therefore you can go about your life as normal. If your test result shows PCR positive, but the antibodies are negative, you are in the initial acute phase of this actual disease state. This is a high risk state. This is a test result that you would want to take to your local physician and have a very clear discussion about your risk assessment of this illness. What that means is immediately talking to your physician and getting a risk assessment done, seeing your physician and understanding how this disease is potentially present in your lungs or not, and then potentially looking at the initial forms of treatment. It is very important to act on this result. A positive PCR test without any antibody positivity is a high risk state and you should take it very seriously. Another result possibility is having a positive PCR test and a positive IgM test. Typically you're in that range between seven days and 21 days of illness. So most often these individuals are either asymptomatic or if they've had symptoms, they've been relatively mild. Otherwise, this type of testing will usually not be reflected in this way. So this type of individual is still in a very high risk of the disease state itself, and they're in a high risk of spreading this disease to others. Again, it's very important with this type of test result to seek advice from your local physician and, and ask about how this disease is progressing within your system and immediately seek some form of therapy as soon as possible. Another possible test result is PCR positive with IgG antibody positivity. This typically means you are at the tail end of this virus 30 day period of exposure. So you may have already had symptoms or you may have had a full recovery from an actual hospitalization of coronavirus and you're in that last 21 to 30 day cycle. The main concern here is that you actually are still shedding or still have the potential to shed this virus. And as the current guidelines are showing us, it's very important that if you are in this test result state that I just mentioned, that you obtain a negative PCR test result before you take yourself out of quarantine. Again, this should be discussed with your local physician, but if you are in this test result category, you should come back and obtain a negative PCR test result to, in order to remove you from a quarantine state. And the final potential test result is a negative PCR test and a positive antibody test. What we are seeing widely across the globe is that most individuals are testing positive towards IgM antibody and not as much to IgG antibody. And the reason for that is the human body has to go through a period of time and a period of maturity of the immune system's function to convert from IgM to IgG. So in this test result where the PCR is negative, it means that you no longer have this virus actively in your system. You only have the immune system memory of the virus being previously exposed. So if you are IgM positive without an IgG positive, the most common request will be that you return in six to eight weeks for a repeat antibody test alone to see if your immune system converts from IgM to IgG. Alternatively, if you are IgM negative and IgG positive, the request will be return in six to eight weeks to see if your body maintains that level of immunity. This is a healthy thing to do because you've now been exposed to coronavirus. You would like to see how safe your immune system is moving forward. Either way, as long as your PCR test is negative, you are no longer infectious, you can go about your normal activities, and you do not need to seek any sort of medical advice or go undergo any form of quarantine.